All right, guys, here we have a 1999 Club Car DS. This one is a crank, no start. Key in, service mode. Oh, would you look at that? Huh, that's the first time it's actually done that since I brought it to the shop. Okay, so as you can see, I'm holding the choke down. And it's not, it's not starting. So I'm going to assume that we have some crap in the carburetor, which is very common. We're going to change the fuel filters, pull the carburetor and clean it and see what we ha what happens there. One thing I should probably point out, I mean, I don't know if it's not obvious already. When you guys see these videos, like by the time you see this video, today's July 9th, 2019. By the time I actually get it copied to the computer, edited and uploaded to YouTube, it could be the middle of August. It could be the end of winter. It could be January right now by the time you're, by the time this video goes public. I still have a yard to take care of. I still have laundry to do. I still have to eat, sleep, poop, just like everybody else. You know, I still have to be a human being at the same time I run on this business. So it's something to keep in mind. I'm probably gonna suck some of that uh, old fuel out. Actually, let me do that right now. We'll pull it through the pump. So that way I can make sure everything that's in there is pulled out of the fuel lines. All right, so we're gonna go to plus. Put this right here. Try not to spill it all over the golf cart. There's no, I don't see any water. Everything looks good as far as, as far as that goes. I just want to pull some stuff through the system here. Okay, it's pulling. There it goes. Yeah, it's definitely gas. It's nice and clean. There's no water in it. Well, there's water in this container because there was already water in this container. Okay, so the fuel's good. At least we know we don't have any water in our fuel here. That's a rare, <laughs> a rare occurrence with these types of repairs. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is disconnect this. I just think there's some trash in the carb. A lot of times it, there's a little bit of moisture that builds up in there because of the ethanol and the gasoline. And it sometimes happens over winter. And it, it's very common. I mean, it's really hard to eliminate that problem. It just, it's always gonna be there because of the ethanol and the fuel. Put this up here. We're gonna shut the tank off so it can't dribble anymore. This off. I'm going to take this air box clamp off too. Just to get it out of the way so it's much easier to work in here. I hear UPS. Yep. Not coming here today. Now, some of you that are a little nervous about doing this, if you want, there's a 10 millimeter nut on the bottom of the bowl down here. If you're able to get onto that and just remove the bowl instead of removing everything, if that's what you would rather do, that's not really the right way to do it, but it is an option for you. What is up with this thing? There we go. I don't really advise doing it half-ass ways, but if that's what all you're comfortable doing, then go for it. Okay, let's uh, drop this here. Oh, didn't break it loose enough. There we go. Oh yeah, I see water already coming out of it. Yeah, a little bit of debris, a few chunks of dirt and stuff in there, but overall it's not 
Not terrible. A lot of moisture. A lot of moisture. See if we can get this apart. I'm kind of at a, a weird angle here for you to see what I'm doing. I'm just basically taking all the guts out to the carb. I'm going to take this overflow tube off because it's dirty. I'm going to take this apart. I think I'm going to take this over to the parts washer and clean this off. Let's see here. Or we'll just clean it off and let the crap run on the floor. And we will do another quick rinse on it. I just want to get some of the crap off of it. Oh, running out of fuel here. I wish I had some more exciting videos to show you other than carburetor cleanings and battery cage rebuilds. <laughs> but it's all that's coming through the shop at the moment. Every year has its own thing that keeps happening to golf carts. Uh, some years it's constantly carburetors. More lately it's been it's been carburetors a lot. Let's just rinse this out real quick. Everything's good. Get the chunkies out. Now we can put the float back in. Uh, some years it's solenoids. Where solenoids are constantly going bad. This year has been kind of a mix of everything. Okay. What I do is I blow into the fuel inlet to make sure that the float is working as it should. Some years there's not a lot that happens. This is uh, this is kind of a slow year this year actually. Compared to past years of course. Uh, I don't have any golf carts for sale really this year so it's been a bit a little bit slower than normal. But not to say that it hasn't been busy. It's it's been very busy. Which is good. You know, I like being busy. I don't like sitting around doing nothing. Okay, there's that. Let's rinse the bowl out and then we can put that back on. Not terrible, the bowl, nice and, nice and clean. It's back on like that. Like somebody's marked the the drain valve at some point. There's that. As of this video, I still haven't crushed the golf cart with the excavator yet, and that's going to happen. I have one over at storage right now that's going to be crushed. Uh, the motor's shot in it, but I got to take the battery out. And I got to pump the tank out so the gas tank's empty. We can't crush it with gas on it. Um, <clears throat> make sure everything, all the all the fluids are out of it. Take the two cycle. It's an old two cycler, so it's not going to be very hard to destroy. Uh, salvage all the parts off of it that are that are still good because some of those parts are getting harder to get, if nearly impossible. Like reed valves, for example. I can't get freaking reed valves for them. I have a couple of them that need reed valves. The assembly. They need the entire assembly. I can't get them. Okay, let's get the carb back in the cart. Yeah, so reed valves are getting tough to find. I can't get them from any of my suppliers that I get my, all of my parts from. Even just a random internet search, I can't even find them. I can get them for certain years for the old two cyclers, but there's a couple of years I can't get them. Which kind of sucks without really taking, you know, without taking apart a good cart, which I don't really want to do. 
whole point is to have more than one good cart. I have a couple of them that are going to, I'm going to try to get running and then maybe sell them off, but they're going to be as is, where is. How's that? Somebody's got a boat. I don't know. Nobody coming here for me. Oop. Come on. Get in there. Get this stupid little clip in here. Okay, so we know the fuel system's already primed. Put this fuel line back on nice and tight. Okay, let's get this air box hose installed. Okay. These things don't like to run very good with the air box disconnected, so we always put the hoses back on just to make sure we got proper running. All right, let's see what happens. Turn the fuel on. Governor's cranked way up. You can tell by how far that throttle's opening, and I'm just barely on the pedal. Look at that, no choke. Okay, so this governor is cranked to the max on this cart. I was hired to get the cart running, that's what I did. I'm gonna tell the customer that I noticed the governor, is, the engine's hitting the rev limiter. See if they want me to turn it down a little bit. If not, then I'm not gonna to touch it. But as far as I'm concerned, That is a successful repair. So, all right guys, that was, an, that was an easy one. New fuel filters and a carburetor cleaning got this thing up and running. So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. That was a pretty simple one. Fuel filters and a carburetor cleaning got this thing back up and running pretty quick, which is usually the answer. And what fixes it nine times out of 10 when the cart doesn't wanna start, but it will crank, usually. It's either, it's, it's fuel related 99% of the time. So. So, all right, guys, I appreciate it as always. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified anytime I upload a video to the channel. Check the video's description for links to products I use every single day and to my social media and web page. There's also a link down below to my Amazon store, which is very new. You can check out products that I use in easy to shop interface right on amazon.com. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.